You're just gonna stare at me the whole time, cat? That was me sinking, don't be scared. Hey guys, it's Chris. I'm petting a cat right now. Uh, also, uh, I decided I wanted to do a new vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a long time. I used to do them every couple weeks or so uh, for, for, for a short amount of time. Um, but I, I felt it wasn't all that interesting. Uh, I felt like doing one though just to see how it would feel. Uh, mostly because two conventions have happened recently, so I just kind of wanted to talk about those. So the first one I went to was New York Comic Con. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows what that is. Uh, it's crazy packed every year, it's, it's very it's very stressful, but it's uh, there's also just a lot of cool stuff there. Even though it was like my fourth Comic Con, it was my first time actually going as somebody who is into comics. I still don't know that much, but I actually am reading them regularly now. And uh, I, I, think, I think I finally found out like what appeals to me about them. I've learned that I'm a lot more into uh, like graphic novels and, and shorter runs of comics than I am into like long, ongoing, uh, serial comics, more or less. Uh, the tradition- what you think of when you think of comics, and, like, the superheroes that I'm going for, what are you smelling? So I spent most of this Comic-Con looking at stuff, uh, from Image and Lionforge, uh, mainly. Those two have been the companies that I- that I've really been getting into when it comes to comics. And I found some really cool stuff again this year. It's like, this is God Country, uh, by Image Comics. This is a special version that they were only selling, uh, at conventions. It's this great series about, uh, in, an, an old guy in uh, in Texas, in I think the 70s, something like that, with, with Alzheimer's. Basically, this magic sword lets him be cured of his mental illness, uh, but the gods want it back. It was funny, which is what I initially expected, but it also just told a very surprisingly human story, uh, and I think it's one of my favorite things I've ever read. My favorite Lion Forge book uh, that I found this year was *The Sound of the World* by Hart. Uh, which is uh, through their Magnetic Press division, which is where a lot of their graphic novels and, uh, and shorter series come from. And uh, I, I've really liked most of the stuff I've read through there, and this might be my favorite one. It kind of reminds me of 500 Days of Summer. Um, kind of. In, in a lot of ways, it's, it's, very, it's very tied into the city that it takes place in, which is in New York City. Um, but you don't like need to be from here to like get the references or anything. I also got Lighter Than My Shadow and Water Memory uh, from Lion Forge. Lighter Than My Shadow is very good, uh, but it's also very uh, depressing a lot of the time. Um, it's about somebody dealing with uh, an eating disorder and sexual abuse, and uh, it's it's very, very good. Um, but it's pretty heavy. Literally and figuratively, it is actually a very long book. And Water Memory is this French novel uh, about sacrifice and family and, uh, and debt kind of, I guess. Uh, it's very cute. It isn't one of the best things I've read, but it was, it was worth reading. As far as non-comics go, um, I got this print of Cowboy Bebop, uh, my favorite manga. I actually ended up not paying for it because he forgot to charge me, and uh, then when I went back because I realized it, he told me to just keep it uh, and thank me for being honest. So there you go, since I'm an honest person, I can just take things. Really the best thing about Comic-Con for me, though, was getting to spend time uh, with people that I'm close to that I don't get to spend that much time with. And I went with my girlfriend Chelsea and a couple of her friends and Tyler was there and I ran into Satchel for a bit and it was just a very nice weekend of hanging out with people that I like, uh, talking about things that I like, and finding new things that I like. I'm very happy that Comic-Con has become like a good thing for me because the first couple years I went I didn't like it at all and uh, I, I feel like a lot of this is, is due to growth on my part of being able to be open to new things. Uh, cause I, I always just struggled with Comic-Con before, but the last couple of years I've really been enjoying it. I also went to a lot of panels and we saw uh, the last Batman movie that Adam West was doing a voice in. If you don't know, they're doing uh, animated versions of like the old Adam West Batman uh, TV show. They were doing uh, animated movies in the style of those shows and uh, they're very funny. So we saw like the premiere screening of, uh, of the second one in the series, uh, the last one that Adam West did voices in before he died, and it was so funny. It was so good. Y you all need to see it when it comes out. I can't remember what it's called, for the life of me. So Comic-Con was great. Uh, it really threw off my sleeping schedule, uh, because when I do conventions, I go hard. Uh, I want to be there as long as possible, because it's the only day I can be there. A week and a half after Comic-Con, uh, I flew to Portland. Portland Retro Gaming Expo is this very uh, kind of small convention based around retro games. 
it was my first year going to it, but a lot of my friends went last year, and I wanted to go, but I things got in the way. I'm really glad I went this year. I feel like it might be my favorite convention I've gone to. I've gone to MAGFest the last several years, and while I, I do enjoy it, and it will always hold like a special place in my heart, it has gotten very difficult the last couple years to deal with. Uh, it's getting way too crowded, it's getting way too hard and expensive to find a place to stay when you're there. And it's just, I, I, I just, I don't know if I'm gonna go this next year. I got a ticket, but just seeing like how things have played out with the hotels and everything, I, I don't think I can do it again. But Portland was great. Uh, I went a couple days early and stayed with my family for a bit and got to see them again. Got to see my brothers and sisters that I haven't seen in a long time. They're getting older now and starting to become functioning humans and that's a weird thing to see. I showed them the Switch so that hopefully they'll pester my parents to get them Switches, and it was just a very nice time. And then I went down to the convention and met up with uh, Ace Waters and uh, Rock the Jake and Booz and Walsh and Rashadi B uh, and my friend Nate and Matt and Alex and Dave. Like I said, a lot of my friends go to PRG. In fact, one of my best friends, uh, Pizza Dude Man Guy, uh, he went last year and he went again this year, and so I spent most of the time with him. And uh, it was really cool to get to hang out with him for so long, because I don't think I'd actually seen him for more than a couple of hours at a time uh, since he got married years ago. So we got to really hang out and spend time with each other in a way that we haven't gotten to in a long time. And it was back in Portland, in the Pacific Northwest, uh, my home turf, like I, I, I was comfortable there, and it was so much cheaper and more manageable than going to MAGFest. I didn't have to get a hotel. Because New York Comic Con had just happened, I was very tight on my money, uh, but I managed to get a couple things for very cheap that I was pretty happy with. I got Star Tropics for $10. Ever since I saw somebody playing Star Tropics, I wanted it. Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger on the Final Fantasy Anthology, because uh, they're two of the biggest RPGs from Square Enix that I just haven't played for some reason. Dark Cloud 2, because I really like the first one. And Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, because I've never played Monkey Ball and I don't understand why I haven't played Monkey Ball. Everything I've heard about it makes it seem like it would be my kind of game. That's all I really got out of the convention, but like, that's all I needed. I really just spent most of PRGE uh, hanging out with friends. Uh, that's why I was there, and I'm really glad I did. I got to see uh, people like Dave uh, that I hadn't seen in a long time, uh, who I've really just talked to mostly online. And I got to meet a lot of the Beard Boys for the first time. Uh, the Beard Boys were people who were fans of The Completionist like very long ago. We're on like this big Discord together, and we all just kind of hang out. We've gotten to know each other. Uh, fairly well over the years, but this is the first time that a lot of us have gotten to like meet in person Or at least the first time that I've gotten to meet them in person. There's some people like Dave and Zek and Warren who, uh, who Who are really cool and I've hung out with before but it was nice to be able to spend more time with them uh, This year then there are people like Nate and Matt and Alex uh, who I was meeting for the first time And it was really cool to get to talk to them apparently Sleepy Evie was there and I, I talked to him and I, I, I didn't even realize That it was him Sleepy Eevee is somebody who makes a lot of Super Beard Brothers memes, uh, so you might not know uh, who he is, but I, I really admire his work. This community that I've been just kind of finding my way into in the last couple years with the Beard Boys and with people like Ace and Satchel uh, has just been incredible. I was always worried about the stigma growing up that, you know, online or like gaming friendships weren't, you know, like real friendships. You don't really know these people, you know, that whole kind of thing. But over the last couple years, I've really started to get close to some of them and they've become some of my better friendships and some of the more inspiring friendships that I've had. There's a lot of people that I've either been watching for a long time or, or who I've found through these conventions uh, that do work that I really enjoy and, 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 and that I get inspired by people that I can really relate to and I can talk to about my own struggles when I'm trying to create or I, or I can just talk about, about things that I like with them and uh, it's been a very big part of my development I think. So getting to talk with a lot of those people uh, again was just a very nice thing and uh, it, was, it was very good for my mental state and my uh, evaluation of self uh, I guess is one way to put it. I'm definitely going to be going back to Portland Retro Gaming Expo whenever I can. Uh, it, was, it was it was a lot of fun. If any of you are looking for a convention to go to that wouldn't be too expensive and would be pretty laid back, uh, go to it next year. And let me know and we can hang out and stuff. It's one of the easier conventions to go to. 
and uh, it's very, very worth it. And after the convention, I went with Pizza to his house uh, for a day, and we recorded an entire Let's Play. So that will be coming out, maybe not really soon, depends on his upload schedule, uh, but soonish. Anyway, that's all I got to ramble about right now. Uh, I just wanted to talk about those for a bit, because uh, I, I was really happy with both Comic-Con and PRGE, and uh, I just wanted to talk about it. It's my channel, I'll do what I want. And if you're watching any one of the people who I talk to at uh, either convention or that I or that I spent time with, uh, thank you. You make these conventions worth it for me. Uh, Comic-Con would not have been been the same thing for me if I wasn't with people that I really cared about. And PRGE wouldn't have been the same thing for me if I hadn't met people and gotten to know people better. I go to these conventions for the people, and since I started looking at it that way, they really haven't been letting me down. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I will see you at a convention soon. I'm not planning on going to another one for about a year, but maybe. Who knows? Alright, have a good one, guys. I should sink again.